I am a cricket attacks champ. And let me tell you the rules before you start. Are you game? Step 1 is to pick your team. Pick your team of 11 players and one substitute. Choose the amazing tactic card now to change the game in your favor later. You can also give your team a power up of plus 3 points with team boost cards. You can toss a coin to decide which team will play first. If you win the toss, you can also select to bat first or to bowl first. There are two great ways to play. First, quick play. Second, fantasy play. In quick play, you choose your best 11 cards and one substitute card and start playing. In fantasy play, you have a fantasy budget of 10 million fantasy points. You can add up the card values to create your team of 11 players and one substitute player. Before you choose your team, remember to balance your team with attacking batsmen, handy all-rounders and specialist bowlers. Step 2. Now is the time to make your move. If you are the batting team, you select a player to bat from your lineup. If you are a bowling team, you select a player to bowl from the lineup. Before you start to play, both the teams must keep their player cards facing down. Step 3. It's time to start the game and score your runs. Turn your cards over to reveal the number of runs. The player that wins the batting versus bowling contest wins the round. In the next round, the winner from this round chooses the first card. So keep a check on your scores. Step 4. Keep your scores. Your runs increase if your batsman beats the bowler. Your wickets increase if your bowler beats the batsman. If it's a draw, the player with the highest individual run score will decide it. Step 5. Team Boost Cards With the Team Boost Cards, you can give a plus 3 boost to your batting and bowling rating. This cannot be used in the final round of an innings. Step 6. Final Score Player 1 records their innings total. Now it is time for second innings. So now, swap roles. Both players keep the same lineup of the cards out in front of them. You can change the tactic card if you want to now. If player 1 has batted first, then he must now bowl to player 2's batting lineup. The winner is decided when the team that scores the highest runs with the fewest wickets. Now for the special cards, the tactic cards. Tactic cards are used to change a game in your favor. There are 6 tactic cards. Remember to keep your tactic card face down until you're ready to use it. The Stadium Boost card is used to add plus 10 points boost to any of your regular cards in either their batting or bowling categories. The DRS card is used to challenge a dismissal against the bowling side. A coin or the DRS card is flipped to determine the outcome of the DRS decision. The injury card is used to force your opponent to make a substitution. The sub card must then replace the player that has been forced to exit the game. The plus 6 runs boost card is used to add 6 runs to any regular card player's run score. If your batsman wins the batting versus bowling contest, then you can add plus 6 runs to your innings total. The batting power play card allows you to add plus 5 points boost to any regular card player's batting rating when you are the batting team. The bowling power play card gives you a plus 5 points boost to any regular card player's bowling rating when you are the bowling team. Now that you know the rules, let's play!